Hi, my name is Patricia Murray and I'm the owner here at Dancing Orchid Soapworks. We're located at 266 Main Street in the lovely downtown Marlboro area. And today I'm going to show you how to make a candle. So we have our vessel here, which is a nice clear vessel. I'm gonna remove this lid, place it to the side. And first what we're going to do is we're gonna take a warning label and we're gonna add it to the bottom of our candle. For safety, we always wanna add this right to the center. And then our next step is we're gonna take this lovely label that I created that says I love Marlboro. It's not the best drawing, but it gets the job done. <laughs> and we're just gonna stick this on. All right, so now we have our warning label and our lovely label. And then the next step we are going to do is we're gonna take our wooden wick, we're gonna make a wooden wick candle here, and we're gonna attach the metal clip to the wood, like so. So now we have that attached. And we need something to make the wick stick, so we're gonna take our glue dot, we're gonna peel it off, and we're gonna stick it to the metal. So, and what we want to do is we want to take our wick and we want to center it in the middle of the vessel, like so. And now we have a perfect centered wick stuck and everything is prepped up and now the fun begins. <laughs> I'm going to use Grandma's Jam for the fragrance today of choice and I'm going to measure that out. Messy. All right. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to, I already have wax already pre-measured out. We're gonna check the temperature. We wanna make sure the temperature is 185 Fahrenheit, no higher, lower than 185. And the reason for that is we wanna make sure that once we add our fragrance, it does not evaporate. That would be no fun. So we wanna check and make sure we have a nice reading and it's perfect. Now that the wax is perfectly cool enough, we're gonna take our fragrance and we're gonna add it to the wax, like so. And then we're gonna take our handy dandy spoon and we're gonna give it a nice stir, stir it for a few. Oh, I wish you guys were here to smell this. All right, perfect. Now we're going to take our wax and we're gonna pour it slowly down the middle of the wick we don't want to create any air bubbles, so we don't want to pour too fast. And this is going to measure out to a 12 ounce soy candle. Oh, it just smells so good, oh my goodness. <laughs> we just pour it like so. All right. Now that we pour this, we are going to do the final touch of adding some fun lavender on top. So we'll take a little and just drop some. It just makes it aesthetically beautiful. <laughs> and we trim in the wick. Perfect. All right, so now that we uh, poured our wax, our fragrance, and made this beautiful candle. Now I will let it sit. It needs to dry and cure for at least two weeks. Um, that The reason for it to dry for two weeks is it makes the fragrance much stronger. Thank you guys for watching.